This is the third in a series of videos about database fundamentals. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the concepts and symbols used to depict relationships. This presentation assumes that you've seen the previous videos and you're already familiar with entity, entity instance, attribute, attributes as an identifier or multi-valued, and cardinality. So what do the relationship symbols that depict cardinality really mean for us? What we see in the first example in the relationship of customer to order, looking at this symbol, is that a customer can have a minimum of zero orders. This means we might store data information about a customer even though they have not placed an order with us. A customer can have a maximum of many orders. So that is the crow's foot notation that we see here. Now we talk about the relationship from the other side, order to customer. And an order is for a minimum of one customer. You can't have an order without a customer making that order. An order is for a maximum of one customer. So in the relationship between location and employee, where this might be an office assignment, for example, location to employee says any one location, uh, office uh, B on the third floor, would be for a minimum of one employee. That office location on the third floor, Office B, would be for a maximum of one employee. Any one employee, Jim Ortega, for example, could be assigned to a minimum of one location. Any one employee, Jim Ortega, could be assigned to a maximum of one office. Based on the maximum cardinality, and that's the symbol that's closest to the entities on either side of the relationship, that maximum cardinality tells us that the relationship falls into one of these types, one-to-many, many-to-many, or one-to-one. -one. So looking at this, we have a one-to-many because we have a maximum of one and a maximum of many. We have a many-to-many -many between order and inventory because we see the crow's foot on each end, each end of the relationship. And we have a one-to-one -one relationship because that's the maximum at each end of this relationship. So keep in mind that the one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many describe the maximum cardinality, the maximum. It's incorrect to read the minimum and maximum together as, uh, as a one-to-many. So you would not look at this and say this is one-to-many. You're looking at cardinality maximum, on, so you're looking at the end of each relationship, the end, or yeah, the, both ends of the line, and that gives you your maximum cardinality. And this is not a one-to-one, -one. this would be a one-to-many. There's also a term or yeah, a term called uh, the degree of the relationship and this refers to the number of entities in a single relationship and we have unary, binary, and ternary. A unary relationship means that an entity is related to itself. And so in the example we have here, any one employee, Casey Wilson, may be, may be supervised by a minimum of zero employees. So we're reading the relationship from this end first and coming up with a zero for the minimum. Any one employee, Casey Wilson for example, may be supervised by a maximum of one employee. Any one employee, now we're going to read the relationship from the starting from the other end, Carla Stevens for example, may be or may supervise a minimum of zero employees. 
Any one employee may supervise a maximum of many. A binary relationship means two entities are directly related and this is by far the most common uh, data model, the most common one that you will see in a data model. So in our example here we have two entities and it's a many-to-many -many relationship. Any one order, order 4528, could have a minimum of one inventory item for that order. Any one order, order 4528 for example, could have a maximum of many items. Somebody bought 10 things instead of just one. Any one inventory item, Day Glow toothpaste, for example, may be sold in a minimum of zero orders. We might have something in inventory that we have not sold yet, and that would give us the zero as the minimum. Any one inventory item, such as Day Glow toothpaste, may be sold in a maximum of many orders. Not the same tube, but we just know that we have Day Glow toothpaste. And if we have 20 tubes and we sell one, we're down to 19. So we can sell Dayglow toothpaste many times. There is a ternary relationship, which means you have three entities directly related. Um, you're most likely to run into this depiction in a fairly abstract high-level diagram. Uh, the three-way relationship is going to be decomposed into binary relationships, and so we won't go any further on the ternary. So we have talked about the minimum and maximum cardinality. And based on the maximum cardinality, a relationship can be uh, determined to be one to one, one to many, or many to many. And I should say, you know, if you're looking at the diagram, it might be many to one, but that's actually trivial. It doesn't really matter the order in which you list the maximums. So you could say one to many, or you could say many to one. We've also seen that we, the degree of the relationship indicates how many entities are involved in a relationship, and we have unary, binary, and ternary.